promised. But what did I promise? I don't know. You didn't even know. No, I don't remember it. Hey, what are you doing? Jody, what? Hey. Get out. Wait, wait, hey, honey, uh, please. Uh, I said, I don't know. get out. Okay, I'm sorry. You're I'm, sorry? Yes. What are you sorry for exactly? <sighs> Jody, I just said it's it's a few days and then boom, explosion. I I don't even know why. Please, please, my love, be reasonable. Reasonable? Yes. I am reasonable. Oh. Jody. Jody, you I'm promise. sorry. Whatever I did. You can't act like this. Jody, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Whatever I did. Please open the door, Jody. Don't act! I'm Never. sorry! Yes. I just waited and waited and waited again. Oh. It's nothing! Nothing at all! Uh oh, the dragon. I will pick it up and bring it home right away. I'm sorry! Okay, okay, I will, I will. How could you? Actually, I'm on the way already. Yes. Jody, so. Don't text me! No! Jody, problem. Jody, open nothing. the door, please! No! <sighs> But I really don't know this time. Don't worry, you'll figure it out. Bye, Richard. See you soon. But... Uh... I can't believe he... I know. He promised this year I be... know. He's such an... I know. It's not like I asked for the moon. Of course. It's just the Aqua Palace Spa. Not even a regular palace spa. For, for my, my birthday. birthday. Yes. I'm never gonna find my Prince Charming. <laughs> of course you will. Look at you. You're a beautiful princess. <laughs> and even if you don't, is it so bad? Being a strong, independent woman is definitely cool. Like that queen in that movie? Sure. Or maybe we could pick a less fictional queen. A real person? Like... Like Martha. Exactly. Even after four divorces, she's an absolute queen. Good job at the bank, owns this building. Plus, she always looks hella sleek in her corporate suits. Hello, my darlings! I return! Martha? Yes, that's me. I'm back. I just arrived from my retreat and I feel absolutely... Oh. 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 Oh, oh, oh. What is... this? Are you okay? I can... I can sense something. There has been bad energies here. A fight! There has been a fight! 
We need to expel the bad energies. Immediately. Do you have a candle? Here you go. By the power, by the light, by the Mother Earth, I release you! So, much better, isn't it? <laughs> oh, thank you. Such a nice welcome. You too sweet, my darling. So, how have you been? I feel absolutely wonderful. Rejuvenated. I'm guessing the silent retreat went well. Absolutely. We spent hours and hours on nature walks and meditating. I feel so connected with the universe and the Mother Earth. I feel so... Oh, come, sit next to me, my poor little sweetheart. You'll be fine. How do you know? Trust me, I can feel it in my bones. Nothing but good love for you, hmm? Thanks, Martha. So, new style? Yeah. You like it? The retreat was so inspiring. It made me realize what is my life's purpose. It made me see it was time for change. Sounds great. What are you thinking? I quit my job and I'm going to become a medium. A what? A, what? a medium, you know. Someone who can commune with the powers of nature and energies of the universe. Someone who becomes their messenger for their messages. Sounds lovely. I'm sure you'll do great. Thank you, darling. <laughs> to a new life. <sighs> mm. I have to go. I have an apprentice meeting with a seer. No need to get up, I left myself out. Thanks for dropping by, Martha. So glad to hear your trip went well. Oh, all this change is going to be wonderful. Be the change you wish to see in the world. And all the changes I'm going to make. Starting with raising the rent by 30% to make up for quitting my job. Ta-ta! What a day! She... took my wine glass. She quoted Gandhi and raised the rent and took my wine glass. I'm gonna need something stronger than this. Oh yeah. Okay, I have some money to spare in my savings and I have my job, but it's still going to be tight. I have no savings, but I have paid for one job. And maybe I can pick up a few more shifts at the other one. So all in all, we'll have enough money for three months. Is this about the rent raise? How do you figure? She was in my apartment before yours. Gotta say, interesting makeover. Oh, honey, what's with the face? It's breakup day today. Oh, my condolences. Heartbreaks are tough. The best way to get over them is to get with someone new. Oh. And with likes like yours? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thanks, Antoine. Hmm. So, 
Where's the wine then? Upstairs, but Martha and Duran, so... Oh, we'll be fine. Hmm? We did your math. You'll be fine, Mr. DJ Moneybags. Hey, that's DJ Drop that gorgeous to you. Not my fault. People like to party to my music skills. Good for you, then. Hmm? Give me five, please. Hmm? Thanks. Hmm. Guys, you got a free room, right? Yeah. Hello, get a roommate. Well, yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. We should get the mystery man to move in. Yeah, the mystery man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll finally know his name, his mystery name. And we'll get to stare at his gorgeous face all day. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Did you see him in his new hat? Divine. Oh yes. So he'll move from his perfectly good apartment upstairs mm -hmm. into a room smaller than his kitchen and give his apartment to his cat or dog or elephant. He has an elephant? No, genius, of course not. Okay, and we are back at square one. Oh, girls, make a Facebook post. Take some photos. Make a fun, friendly post. And someone's gonna apply. I'm gonna need more wine for that. Me too. Me three. Did he call yet?
Hi, are you here for the roommate interview? Please come in. Okay, so. So, I work at a makeup store, yeah? I have no kids or pets, really, no. I pay rent on time, yeah, and I'm also working on my own perfume line. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> nice, yes! <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in touch. <laughs> Hello. So, let's get right to it. Tell us about yourself. Yes, uh, my name is Broco. I'm a painter and a writer. And currently I'm writing articles for a local website. Is that so? Yes. I'm also working on a murder mystery novel, so basically, I'm home all day. We've heard everything we need to know. Thanks so much for coming. Hi. Um, could you tell us a little about yourself? How old are you, anyway? And where are your parents? I am into computers. So, like, IT or...? <sighs> what type of internet do you have? I will need a minimum of 300 Mbps for my work. What kind of router do you have? Will my bedroom have a lock? Also, if your current service provider is decent enough, then it can band with my support to HTML coding. Are the walls soundproof? Who is your current service provider? Do you guys have a firewall? What time do you go to sleep to? Does your router have a port for Ethernet thick cables? Will your rooms be locked or not? We're out of time for the interview. Thanks so much for coming. We'll be in touch. Is there anyone left for today? You know, people actually do this for work. HR people are my new heroes. Shit. Let's just pretend we're not home. It's just one more. Oh. Hi, my name is Maya. Have you eaten? Uh, what? Uh, sorry, I mean, I brought Buchta. And? I am here for the roommate interview. Sure, of course. Hi, nice to meet you, Maya. Please come in. Do you like it? This is amazing. I'm so glad. You don't want any? Maybe later. I work at the belly company, gotta stay in shape. Did you make this yourself? Yes, I love to bake. I made this just before I left, so it's still warm. <laughs> mm. So good, thank you. My mom always says that the best way to someone's heart is through their stomach. So, Maya, tell us about yourself. 
Do you have any weird hobbies we should know about? No. Are you a runaway child? Kind of. Do you believe in soap? Are you a secret serial killer? Jody! I'm so sorry. We've had a long day. It's okay. I understand. And no, I'm not a serial killer. And yes, I do believe in soap. Great. So tell us about yourself. Well, I'm from a small village called Kupšice. My mom is a teacher and my dad is a doctor. And I just finished my master's in teaching here in Prague. Okay, nice. And? I don't want to go back home and be a teacher like what my parents want. So I want to stay in Prague and find a job. It's time for change. I like this one. Sounds great. Do you have any pets or like, what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, no pets. And in my free time, I love uh, baking, cooking and house chores. <laughs> Perfect. You're hired! You guys seem so fun! What she means to say is, would you like to see your room? No. No? No, but I would love to see the oven. Oven? Someone who actually knows their way around the kitchen. That'll be an interesting change. We have an oven? So, this is the kitchen. This apartment has everything, I think. Fridge, sink, Cutlery, coffee maker, toaster, pots and pans, whatever. And here's the stove top and oven. <gasps> That's the oven. No genius. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. That's induction. That's so cool. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Wow. Sorry, in case it wasn't obvious, we don't cook very much. Or at all. What do you think? Is this a kitchen you can work with? I just have one more question. Yeah, sure. When can I move in? <laughs> Ali, get the champagne! <laughs> to Maya! To new and exciting changes. To us and to Prague. I'm so happy you're not a stinky serial killer. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but I'm really <laughs> excited to live with you too. We just have to iron out the technicals, you know, rent, contract, down payment, stuff like that. But welcome to the apartment. <laughs> we uh, shouldn't be expecting anyone else. No, I can't take any more. Let's just pretend we're not home. I can get it, no worries. <laughs> we found I her. know. <laughs> Hello, my darling. Oh, Jody, that's so sweet of your dad to come to visit. Hi, my name is Maya. 